arrived at the hotel. It's more than a hotel. It's an onsen, your personal onsen. And you have a balcony where you can just chill and look at the sunset and the ocean right here. It's a little chilly, but for a real good price? I mean, it's not even more than Ichiman Yen. I'll show you guys right now, actually. It's here, check, take, take a look at the sign right here, though. It's basically an example of each little hut has a, their own onsen. Now, let's go to the room real quick. Oh, look at this! But wait, there's more. We go outside this door right here. Sunset. We're with a table where you could just chill right here. But, check this room out. There's another room. So go into this room, and it's just a room. Here, check this out. There's a couch view outside and insane sunset right now this is insane i wish i knew about this earlier sponsored by go to travel giving you the opportunity to avoid the coronavirus by being out where no one is even though they're canceling it i'll give you more of a tour of this location me and my destroyed hair I can explore a little more and go over to the area on the right side. I think there's more barbecue. I thought I saw a fire pit over there, so maybe there's a barbecue going on. So I'm gonna check that out right now. So see you guys. <laughs> fire pit by the ocean. It's almost like camping, except it's not camping. It's just like a vacation away from Fukuoka right now, and it's amazing. I, man, this would be a high recommendation in my part. Like, usually hotels are like whatever, but this isn't a hotel. I mean, it is a hotel, but it's like a, a bed and breakfast type of place. It's really cozy and homely. It's so nice, so warm, since it's gonna be cold by the water right now, so. But we came here to get food, so we gotta drive off after the sunset, so. We're gonna leave now, I promise you guys. six in the morning because we're by the ocean and we're near the sunset sunset was that side so I thought maybe I can see the sun rise and lo and behold check this out can you see it through the window you can oh wow you can see it through the window actually look at this but I'm gonna take you outside so let's go outside to the little table what's cold out here though Check this out. Oh my goodness. I never really see sunrises. I don't wake up, but this is insane. The color. Ah! I'm going to chill here for the time being. And just enjoy the sunrise for the next 30 minutes as it goes up. And I'll see you guys again. Breakfast is at 9, so I got two hours until breakfast. Just gonna chill here and relax. And think about what I'm gonna do today. Which I have no idea, but I'm gonna think about it. Alright. I interrupt this break to bring you back because I was just checking in this on the sunset and I was like, you know what? I gotta show this off a little bit for everybody because look, 
behind me. The colors are insane. It's just getting brighter and brighter. Look at that. You see the ocean is reflecting off the sun. The sun is reflecting off the clouds. I mean, sunsets are nice, but this is so much colors. It's a little bit of blues with a lot of pinks and oranges and the pink is reflecting off the water. Welcome to the TV of life. That's what I would call this room. I mean, this little couch, the window behind. They put a couch in this room facing the ocean with a window looking directly outside like that's such a great concept the fact that they wanted you to instead of to watch tv but to watch nature to watch life to take yourself away from technology even though i'm using a camera and probably my phone but the fact that i mean it's such a great concept in my opinion the tv of life this is my tv of life right here just watching the sunrise through a window because it's a little cold outside i gotta get back inside maybe i should make a new a youtube channel with that name big brain right there all right i need to warm up so i'm gonna make myself one of these because breakfast here is at nine so that's two hours and i can't wait since I woke up so early, so I'm gonna make this and I'll be back. Oh, I should stop doing that. Honestly, from what I hear, and I'm pretty sure it's probably accurate, Beppu and Oita is mountainside for the most part, and that's what I expected. I didn't even think it was nearby the ocean. I mean, if you look at a map, of course it's by the ocean, but I never looked at it on a map. And now, here I am, and by the ocean, mm, it's a cove actually, like a bay. It's just so nice. I love this room. This room, I can just talk to the camera, have this awesome background, and just stare out into the suns and the ocean. It's pretty amazing. I a little short weekend trip to uh, Beppu. So, I will finish my noodles. I love this room. I talk more, but it's getting really bright and I'm not like super bright in my eyes. And I just want to sit and relax and stare into the ocean and think about what I've done. What I've done. Damn. My final time coming into the vlog station room. I call it a different thing every time. Oh, I can't see. I had to say, I was not expecting breakfast to be so good. It's a typical Japanese breakfast. It had so many small side dishes. Like, usually it's about two, three, four, maybe five, but this thing had like 15 side dishes. It was amazing the amount of food there was. I, and then what's crazy is you sit down at the table they say, here's your food. All the side dishes are there. You're like, okay, this is a lot of food. And he comes back, he's like, here's some rice. Okay, and then he's like, here's some fish. And here's the sashimi. It's like, what else are you gonna bring? He's like, here's an egg. Here's some nori. Like, How much food is there? I don't think normal people eat this much. Anyways, we gotta get back on the road now because we gotta pack and get out of here. So I will see you guys in the next city. Hi. <laughs>